I mean, it's always a good, good weekend to come out here and sweep. Uh, they're good. Their offense is really good. Um, and we played as a team this weekend, all weekend. So it felt pretty good. You guys have, you know, come from behind the first two games. But obviously, really, I guess it really didn't need to come from behind today. And Bryson was talking about, like, you guys at this point in the year are kind of confident enough to do that. I mean, you kind of feel that as well. Yeah, we, um, at this point of the year, we're all, we're all have to come together. Uh, and that's really important for us. Uh, we're not, like, focused on anything that happens outside of uh, what we're doing in this program. Um, so we're really focusing on ourselves, focusing on each other, and that helps us win ball games. Uh, Tulane hit you guys pretty hard last weekend, but yesterday, today, you guys did a really good job on the hill. How important was that to kind of come yeah, up? Yeah, it was really important. I think uh, last weekend was kind of a wake-up call for uh, the pitchers. Um, I know I struggled last weekend, but it was really important for us to come together this weekend, and uh, it was a good series for us. You guys, I mean, y'all are essentially, I don't know if you're going to talk about this, but y'all are playing for a conference championship every time you take a hit. Y'all are one game up with three weeks to go. Is that something y'all talk about? Or no, nah, we, we don't talk about that at all. I mean, we just take it one game at a time, try to control what we can, we can control, and uh, we go from there. Looks like you're taking some spins around the chair. Uh, looks like we are. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Um, I know AMAC did it earlier in the year against Cincinnati as well, and I was kind of jealous. I'm, like, I'm not going to lie. So, um, yeah, I was trying to keep it simple, uh, work through the middle, and I mean, good things happen to keep it simple. Does the ball just look like a beach ball coming at you right now? Because you've been hitting it all over the field really hard. I'm not going to jinx anything, but, I mean, I guess I'm hitting it pretty good right now, but knock on wood, so hopefully keep it going. What's going on well with you during the stretch? Things like 11 games. Um, like I just said, I mean, just keeping it simple, um, having an approach at the plate and selling out to that approach. Um, not trying to do too much, because normally if you try to do too much, you're going to end up having uh, worse results in the end. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've talked about it, but you are in the conference championship race. So how much more does that maybe add to the juice coming out of here each day with three weeks to go? Season? Yeah, it definitely does. Um, last series against Tulane, it kind of kind of put a sour taste in our mouth. Um, I mean, we're always gunning for that top spot, and... Yeah, we're gonna keep playing as hard as we can. Keep going out there and try to win. Uh, talking about that series last week, when you have a weekend like this and a lot of home games coming up at the end of the year, how much confidence does a weekend like this give you guys? Uh, a lot. I mean, we love playing at home. Um, as you can see, I mean, we went out there and played probably some of our three best games of the year. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna keep it going. Uh, play the way we were. What do you think of the pitching that you guys had today and yesterday? Because it was phenomenal. I mean, yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, they're a really good offensive team. Um, they showed it earlier in the year. I think they put up. 20 plus runs on us the first series and um, going out there and giving up six runs in two days really gives I mean, everyone confidence. I mean, our defense are on our toes. We're playing good defense. Offensively, we're off the field. We're back in the dugout, so it makes it easy for us. Well, I mean, second comeback win against a good team. Obviously, you know, Mayhew is incredible today, too. I mean, what what's the feeling for the guys to be able to pull that out there in the eighth and finish it out? Well, Coach Knight, Knight and I just stressed to the pitchers, like, hey, push the pace, get the ball. I, I thought we were overthinking some things on the mound, and Coach Knight did, too. Maggie was outstanding. I thought you Savage was good, and of course to Willard was outstanding. But a hey, tip of the hat to the pitching staff. Their guy was really good. I thought we hit a lot of balls hard. Didn't have a lot of um, hits to show for it, but our, our guys barreled up the ball and really executed when we had to. We talk about in the uh, eighth inning when uh, to take the lead. It was or excuse me, the seventh inning to tie it up. It was a double uh, fly ball to move the runner and a sack fly. So only one hit, but our guys really did a good job. And, Williger didn't uh, didn't flinch and just kept pounding the strike zone. We hear you talk about the little things a lot, whether that's moving the runners with sack flies or a very very close call, but he made it home um, for the win. World, you know, talk about the little things making a, a difference in this game. Well, I mean, you look at it, and uh, you know, with two outs, they make an error. Ben Newton crushes that ball right at the shortstop, and Zach doubles, and and Hoover doubles, uh, so we get two runs with. Um, you know, really, they should have been out of the inning. Um, but um, executing, you know, like Amac did, like Ben did, um, of course, Starling getting the scoring, Bryson leading off with a double, um, Josh Mullen hitting the ball hard and just putting in play. And, um, you know, Bryson's fast, so we can put pressure on him. So I, I just really proud of our guys. Uh, and thanks to the fans. I thought the fans were awesome. I thought they were definitely a factor. So we need the fans to be back out here at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, ready to go and be really loud.
You also talked a lot about uh, some of these young relievers stepping up. How pleased were you with you Savage in terms of here today? Yeah, you Savage has been battling a little arm soreness, so that's one of the reasons we didn't have him available at uh, NC State. We wanted to give him some extra rest, uh, but he was. I uh, thought he was good. You know, I thought he got a little bit fatigued there in the second inning. And then uh, Terwilliger was outstanding. So we needed somebody to step up that, uh, besides Spivey and Saylor and, and Mayhew, which Mayhew stepped up, he just wasn't available in the bullpen. But Zach, I mean, coming into a jam and being able to get us out of that jam, striking out a guy was huge as well. Does that kind of play into Mayhew's strengths when he can just get the ball and throw it? Because, I mean, he was in a groove there for a while. Well, that's his problem, but we've been trying to get force him to do it for three years, and finally he's kind of bought <laughs> into it. So that's what coaching is, is to get him to, to actually be able to do it. And, um, you know, ben did a really good job behind the plate, cool guy out that was yeah. crucial, but he pushed the pace, so made you sped up, and, and that was a good thing. And you mentioned Josh is hitting the ball hard. I mean, for weeks now. I mean, too. I mean, maybe not get hits, but I mean, it, you know, that hit off the glove there at first. I mean, that's the game changer right there. I mean, yeah, Josh has done a good job, and uh, you know, he's finally hitting the ball the other way. You saw last night his first hit was with the six hole, Josh, and he drove that ball almost out in the first inning. I mean, that's really where his money is. So. Uh, if he keeps doing that, we're going to see some good things coming. Any idea on a starter for tomorrow? Jake Hunter's going to start tomorrow.